Mimi, what do you think about Canada losing the Olympics, huh? Are you serious? What the heck happened? What? Anybody said, oh, Canada played a great game last night. No, they didn't. They didn't play a great game. They played a very bad game. Right? I will say Crosby goal was very good, as was Heatley's, because he, you know, their positioning was just, their positioning was outstanding for those goals. But, but, uh, the Americans totally outplayed the Canadians. I couldn't believe it. I was, me and the girlfriend were at Kelsey's, obviously, and, uh, they, we just got beat. Like, I, I, I tell the last goal for the Americans. Wow, that was good. I will, I will say that was very good. America totally outplayed us. You, you know what? This whole like, hey, the Olympics is at Canada. We're gonna bring it. Uh, in my opinion, we're not bringing anything but disappointment because everybody that is in the Olympics from Canada is pretty much losing. Right, so, like, basically, everybody had their foot in their mouth when they said that they were going to win gold. Right, America has like twenty six golds right now. And then Germany, then I think like it's like Netherlands, and then Canada. Pretty much, we're tied with South Korea. Now, to me. All the ranting and raving about, oh my god, yeah, we gotta get it, we're gonna get the golds, we're gonna get the golds. <laughs> Never happened, right? I was watching the news the other day about the Olympics, and uh, they were saying, yeah, Canada owns the podium. And then the Americans said, well, you guys may own it, but we're gonna rent it. That's pretty much the truth, so. Uh, What's up, everyone? I'm so tired. Like, I'm so tired. And, you know, that is something people say a lot. People are always like, hey man, how's it going? And it's either, I'm good, not bad, or I'm tired. Door number three, please, because I am tired. Work has been incredibly busy. And I'm just not sleeping. And it's all my fault. I don't blame anyone but me. You can tell how exciting this vlog is going to be today. It's going to be like a party, party. So you might be asking yourself, Rebecca, why are you not going to bed? Why are you on this computer vlogging? Good question. The only answer I have for you is, I'm stupid, okay? Instead of me going to bed, having a shower, getting in my PJs, and being all cuddly, I'm talking to you. So you should feel special. Why do I always make myself look like a loser? Before I do all that, though, let me show you what I have to do. And now, I hate doing this. I do the laundry, and then I just throw it in a pile on the floor because I don't give a poop. And then I have to get Dave to fold it because I hate folding laundry. And this is this is what I have to do. Oh, hi, cat. Sup, cat. <laughs> that was cute. Mimi! That's my call to her. I have to make one comment, though, okay? If you haven't already watched the Shaytards, do yourself the favor and do it. They are a family who are currently residing in Los Angeles, and they have been doing a vlog every day for the past year. It is hilarious. It is, their family is what every parent should want their family to turn out to be like. Their kids are hilarious and respectful and just really, really decent people of society. I just, they're hilarious, and it's entertaining. Go check them out. 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm serious, like, my lack of, don't judge this by my lack of enthusiasm right now. They're so good, and they're, they're children, baby tard. So cute. And, uh, check out Shay Carl, Kasim G. So, that's my vlog, guys. Do you love me?